In this video, I'm going to show you how to get that beautiful golden skin tone in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to do this on a dark skin model. And I'm going to show you how to do this on a medium skin tone model. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to do this on a light skin model. My name is Eustace and if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. Let's do this. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go on this circle adjustment layer, I'm going to left click and then I'm going to select gradient map. I'm going to click here and then I'm going to look for legacy gradients down here. I'm going to open it and then I'm going to look for photographic toning folder. I'm going to open it like this. These are the gradients that I'm going to use. So if you can't find these gradients in your Photoshop, let me show you what you're supposed to do. I'm going to cancel this, I'm going to close this and then I'm going to delete this one here. Just go to window and then select gradients here. So you see gradients here, just left click on these four lines, left click and then select legacy gradients here. If you go down here, you're going to see your legacy gradients here. Open the folder, you're going to find photographic toning folder here. If you open it, you're going to see these gradients. So I'm going to go down here on this adjustment layer, this icon, I'm going to left click and then I'm going to select gradient map. I'm going to left click here and then I'm going to look for legacy gradients. Legacy gradients, I'm going to open this, I'm going to look for photographic toning folder, I'm going to open it and then I'm going to select this gradient. I'm going to left click on it. You'll see the name of the gradient here. If I click on this, this is copper 2, but I want to use the copper 1 gradient. This is what I'm going to select. The name here is saying copper 1 gradient and then I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to close this like this. I'm going to go on blending modes here and then I'm going to select soft light. I'm going to reduce the opacity to 50% like this. It's our before, it's our after. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to this adjustment layer. I'm going to left click and then I'm going to select the black and white adjustment. Let me just move it here. On the presets here, I'm going to change it from default to blue filter. I'm going to go to blending modes here. I'm going to change it to luminosity. So I'm going to select the black and white layer and then I'm going to light click and then I'm going to select blending option here. So the layer style is going to pop up. I'm going to alternate on the keyboard option on the Mac and then I'm going to drag this part of the triangle from this side going this side and then I'm going to click OK. This are before, this are after. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to this adjustment layer, this circle and then I'm going to left click and then I'm going to select selective color. On colors here, I'm going to select reds and then I'm going to drag the cyan to negative 50 like this. I'm going to drag the yellow to plus 30 like this. This are before, this are after. I'm going to go on colors here. I'm going to change it from reds to yellows. I'm going to drag the cyan to negative 20. And then I'm going to drag the yellows to negative 50, like this. So this is our before, this is our after. And then I'm going to go back on the colors here. I'm going to click here and then I'm going to select neutrals. I'm going to go on the black here and then I'll drag this to plus five. This is our before, this is our after. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go down on this adjustment layer and then I'm going to select the gradient map. I'm going to left click here and then I'm going to look for the legacy gradients. I'm going to open it and then I'm going to look for photographic toning folder. I'm going to open it. I'm going to select the first gradient here, the platinum gradient and then I'm going to change the location here from 0 to 50. I can just drag this up to 50 here or I can just select this number and then I can type 50 on the keyboard like this and then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to blending mode here and then I'm going to select luminosity here. I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to select the blending options here. So the layer style is going to pop up. I'm going to alternate on the keyboard option on the Mac and then I'm going to drag this part of the triangle from this side going this side and then I'm going to click OK. 
I'm going to reduce the opacity to 20%. These are before, these are after. I'm going to go down to this adjustment layer and then I'm going to select curves. I'm going to select the hand tool here. I'm going to select the bright part of our skin. I'm going to left click and then I'm going to drag it up like that to make it a little bit brighter. I'm going to select the dark part of our skin like this one. I'm going to left click and then I'll drag it down like that. So these are before, these are after, these are before, these are after. I'm going to select the curves and then I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and then I'm going to select the gradient map one like this. And then I'm going to hold control plus G on the keyboard to put these adjustments into a group. Control G. Then I'm going to double click on the group and then I'm going to name it gold skin tone effect. So these are before, these are after. Let me close this. So these are before, these are after. So if you feel like the effect is too much, you can just open the folder. Just try to play with the adjustments here. Let me select the gradient map too. And then maybe I can just reduce the opacity to maybe 10%. So these are before, these are after. Let me just close this. So these are before, these are after. So the next photo that we are going to work on, it's this one, the medium skin tone. So instead of us doing everything that we did on this photo, we can just drag this group and then drop it here. These are before, these are after. So the effect is too much. We're just going to open the folder. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to be reducing the opacity of some adjustment layers in this group. So I'm going to disable this one because this photo is already bright. We added this adjustment layer because this photo was a little bit dark. Let me open it. It was a little bit darker. It's the reason why I added this adjustment layer. So I'm going to enable it. Uh, let me just move to this one. So this photo is bright. So I'm going to disable this one. And then I'm going to select the gradient map tool before and after. I'm going to, let me just move to the selective color. So these are before, these are after. So this is our black and white adjustment. This is before, this are after. So we'll start with the black and white adjustment because if we disable this, we can see how it changes the image. So I'm going to enable this and then I'm just going to reduce the opacity to maybe 40 percent so these are before these are after these are before these are after the selective color i'm just going to reduce the opacity to 50 percent these are before these are after the gradient map these are before these are after i can just reduce the opacity of this to maybe from 50 percent to maybe 30 percent these are before these are after so these are before all our changes these are after so we are going to move to the dark skin model I'm going to select our first image and then I'm going to drag this folder like that. So these are before, these are after. We are going to open the folder like this. These are before, these are after. So this photo is a little bit darker. So I'm going to leave the curves adjustment here. I'm going to select the gradient map too. These are before, these are after. I think I'm going to leave this one the way it is. I'm going to move to the selective color adjustment. These are before. These are after. For now, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to move to the black and white adjustment. So these are before, these are after. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of the black and white adjustment to maybe 30%. So these are before, these are after. I'm going to select the gradient map one. These are before, these are after. I'm going to reduce the opacity from 50 to maybe 30%. These are before, these are after. I'm going to open the caves adjustment. I'm going to double click on it. And then let me just move it here. I'm going to drag this a little bit like that. So these are before, these are after. I'm going to close this. So these are before, these are after, these are before, these are after. If you want to retouch fast and level up your retouching skills, you should check out my retouching actions pack. The link will be in the description below. And if you want to learn how to retouch using my retouching actions pack, should check this video down here.